Yo, what's good? I'm DJ Smooth, and we're going to do um, a remake, a re-rock beat for Almighty J's um, newest track, Let Me Breathe. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's um, first figure out the key in the tempo. So after listening to... After listening to the record here, um, it is in the key. It is, uh, it's in the key of C minor and the tempo is like 160. So for, for our remix purposes, we're not going to go for an exact match. We're going to uh, just recreate based on the vibe. And we're going to do the beat just exactly the same. We're going to get close with the bass lines and the 808s. But we're not going to get uh, an exact match. Um, so we'll be able to resell this beat. Uh, as an original instead of a, a direct, what do you call it? Uh, I'm drawing a blank. Anyways, in order to create these beat, um, I'm going to pull up the heat up three plugin and that is, that's this guy right here. Um, and let's see. Let's go ahead and start this. Uh, let's oh, I'm going to reopen this. Yeah, let's save that. So uh, <laughs> I had done this video and looked down and I wasn't even recording. So the idea here is to get this close and uh, get this video under 10 minutes um, or under 11 minutes. So the first thing is to pull up heat up we got heat up and i've got a classic grand sound here and basically we'll just we'll just pull this up new I'll open this up in a new channel i like these uh, sequences that they have in here like this one and now um that's pretty much just like on a single chord so what i'll do is We'll just grab a piano sound, right? So that's kind of mellow. So then what I've done is I'll pull up the sequencer, pull that sequence out, right? So I know this is in C minor. So we're gonna go all the way up there to to uh, the seven register, right? And that is um, what we've recorded here. And then basically what we've done is uh, filtered out like most of the bottom end, most of the top end, threw a halftime on it, right? solo this out and then we've cut out even more of the top and the bottom using love filter then we'll use the chorus and flanger <clears throat> to give it some movement and finally the s1 imager we're going to take and spread that out spread that sound way way out all right then the next thing we've done, we've got this going. Now it's like I said before, it's not a, a, a direct copy of what's going on. But what we do next is pull up um, a clone of this exact same channel. Now the difference is we're gonna keep the sequencer the same, the sound the same, but we're gonna go to our um, our sequencer here pull up the easy again 
and then we're going to go to our speed and go from one quarter to one half all right now we're playing the same register we're doing the same thing we're just making a variation of it and this one i just want to cut off the 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 low ends um we're gonna run this through halftime with the one bar setting put our uh huge ass reverb on it we've got a little basic chorus a basic flanger and with the imager here since we're not going to be panning this stuff, we just tighten up the sound from a wide to um, right in the middle. So we're pushing the focus of this sound and these sounds wide and skinny. Now, the last thing tonally um, is that there is a another... Uh, a little bit of piano work going on so I'm pulled up another heat up three and we're using um, a different a different piano and all we're doing is creating uh, arpeggio based on the chord C minor and not necessarily an arpeggio this is actually a bit of a counter melody Now, what I've done is juiced up the reverb quite a bit for this, and we've taken some of that attack off of it. Now, on our uh, equalizer, we've cut the top, carved a little spot here, in the middle of the range and added a boost to the top end because all I want is the atmosphere of this piano and we'll bring that up and uh, spread it out a little bit so all we've got is these three tones supporting most of this right all right so now that we've got our melodic imaging going on, let's, um, let's do some drums. So I'm going to stop the video here. We're going to, uh, we're going to do some drums. I'll be right back. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, we're back. Let's um, let's pull up the um, the sounds that we've got already. So what we did is is I can't play the beat that we're copying for too long because I'm uh, uh, YouTube will hit a, hit me with a you know uh, they'll take it down or won't let me monetize. So the uh, the beat. I did really close to the original, but not exactly, exactly, exactly. And it's got a bass line and it's got an 808. So, uh, since we've got um, most of this laid out, or it's already laid out, I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest, I already done the beat. I'm not creating this live. Um, so we're just gonna pull up our sequencer here and you'll see that what I've got here is uh, the beat already laid out. And it's real close to the way they laid it out on the song itself, right? Now, I gotta pull up this um, mixer and okay we so we got the ozone turned off
Now pay close attention to the mix if you want your shit to nod. You gotta have space between that 808 here or and your basses and that kick drum and snare. Lots of space. So uh, it's not about fitting as much bass as possible into the beat. It's about having room for the artist to create and the engineer that records that artist to place the vocals into the mix so you can have a way bigger sounding mix this way so that's what uh, we're gonna do a video of that soon show you how I mix and make these things not anyways um, this is the beat We've added a little pad to the top end of things. Kind of a string pad thing situation. All right. So if you have any questions, hit me up. Um, please subscribe, like the video, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if y'all want me to do more of these. Uh, um, let me know what you want in the next video to be. I'm going to go ahead and let this beat um, play on out, all right? Appreciate y'all tuning in, um, and deuces, man, thanks.